Hey guys, welcome back to another 3D printing video. So today's video is going to be a little special because we have a customer return printer that I bought on eBay for a really good price of $90. So this is the Flash Forge Finder. So let's see what they sent us. So there's a seller on eBay that sells these as customer returns and with the feedback that he has it seems like that most people get pretty decent printers that need very minor repairs so I went ahead and went for one so this is a really good price but you know it could come with some issues so let's check ours out and see what it looks like so it came in this box here which is decently large and it does have a big A over there so I'm not sure what that means so I went ahead and cut the tape well, let's see what we're gonna find in here guys something fell out as I was opening this so apparently if you need replacement parts you can contact somebody here which has a very weird email it's almost like they know you're gonna need parts all right all right well the printers there that's a good sign it definitely looks like a customer return because it's all dirty and dusty and things seem to be missing so there is a quick start guide so yeah it looks like just about everything is missing in here there's open little baggies there's nothing all right, we do have a power cord, thank goodness, but doesn't look like to be having the adapter part that goes to the wall, but that's okay, I think we can find one. So we do have some kind of tool kit still left, so that's a plus, I guess. And that's it, that's all that we have so far. Let's try to get this thing off here. So yeah, you can tell this thing has, you know, been opened and whatnot. It's pretty rough looking. All right, guys, so bad. <laughs> Looks like bad news. Looks like we definitely have damage here. This thing has completely, oh, yeah, look at that. Either through shipping or just customer return. But it doesn't appear so because it seems like it was used. I do see uh, something wedged here on the side. Let's pull that out. Okay, that's the bed. And that's damaged also, guys. Look at that. Oh, that's unfortunate. So it looks like definitely we're going to have some repairs to do. Well, that was kind of unfortunate. I was hoping for a little better outcome than this. This is, seems like a more, you know, serious damage here. Assembly here is broken off, seems like. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this out so we can look at it a little better. And that's it. There's nothing inside there that I can see. So we're definitely missing quite a few things. So here I have the printer on the table. And it's very, very dusty. Like the whole thing is just dirty looking. So I don't know if that's just from the box. This box here. Carton stuff, but it's extremely dusty. Alright, so it appears to be that this whole bracket here on this side is completely broken off from here. And it also looks like the switch here, the end stop switch, I guess it got damaged during the fall or something, but it doesn't make any sense. So here's a view from the side. There's our motor there. So it appears to be okay overall, just the, uh, you know, just this piece here that's just broken off. The ribbon cable over here looks to be okay, thankfully. So yeah guys, unfortunately we got a bad one with some serious damage, but maybe this is not too bad. The good part is it doesn't look like we actually need to buy any parts. It looks like mostly that we just need to fix this bracket here. And this is something probably that can just be glued on, I'm guessing. Other than that, it seems pretty good overall. So here on the side it looks like we have a USB connection so I'm guessing you bring in files with the USB on this one and here on the very back we have the power switch power plug that goes in there and here is the model number some of the information about the printer so here we have this looks like to be the spool holder filament holder let's see if there's oh look at that there's something in there for us oh well, that's good that's good because these Apparently these spools are smaller what it looks like than the normal spools. So we do have a little bit of filament left for us to do some test printing later. A little disappointed of how that was broken off there. But you know this is one of the risks that you take when you buy something that's customer return. So and I for some reason believe that this did not break or was not broken by the customer that returned it. I think this was broken because when it was returned it was not packed correctly. 
and so the weight of this thing bouncing around or maybe the box got thrown really hard where it fell and it broke this connector here and that's probably what happened most likely the customer returned this printer for another reason or they just didn't like it so all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to wipe it down a bit because it's ultra dusty and i'm going to see if maybe i can somehow attach this temporarily to the top here that way we can at least turn it on and see that it works at all because i don't want to waste my time trying to fix it if it doesn't even you know power on and stuff like that so we're just gonna power it on and see if it works. So I wiped down the printer so it looks a little better. And also I got a zip tie and I zip tied this whole broken area here. So obviously this is not a permanent fix but this is just a temporary little fix here because as you can see it's not even sitting correctly yet. But as you can see guys we're moving around. But well, that's already a plus. Now we're moving this way. And the bed moves up and down. So if I just push it, you can see it going up and down. So everything seems to work. So everything looks pretty good on it so far that I can tell. So I want to go ahead and plug it in and see what happens. So I got the uh, power plug here, adapter here connected, and it's glowing green. So let's go ahead and plug this guy in. And I'm going to hit this uh, power button here, so hopefully everything will be all right. All right, here we go. So nothing's happening, unfortunately. Now, I don't know if I need to push this to power it on. Let's go ahead and try that. And that's what I was afraid of. So I'm not sure if the printer is bad or the power supply. I have a feeling it's the printer, but whenever I push the power button, the light just go out and kind of blinks. So I'm thinking there's a short or something in the system. That's why it's not powered on. Well, guys, this just turned into maybe not so bad into awful. All right, so I'm going to play around with it and see if I can figure out anything. All right, so I took off the panel on the back here to see if I can maybe see something, what's wrong. And I definitely think it is the motherboard here or whatever this is, the main board. So what's happening is the power is fine. It's on right now as long as it's unplugged. And I measured the voltage here and we're getting 24 volts. But whenever I plug it in to the main board, there's like a little spark. I don't know if you guys saw that. And this completely lights off and it kind of like blinks a little bit. So I went ahead and tried to unplug everything here to see what was shorting out. I was thinking maybe something, you know, from the damage when it fell or that piece broke off, something ripped or maybe pinched somewhere and, you know. But it looks like that the board itself is short right now because I unplugged every single wire here. So that's pretty unfortunate. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the board off and kind of look at that. I'm not even sure what I'm looking for, but most likely we'll need to replace this board is what it looks like. So if I unplug it from the board, the power comes back on and it's fine. So it's probably definitely the board that's the issue at the moment. Alright, so here's what the board looks like. It looks pretty complicated overall for sure. I wonder how much this board will cost to get another one. But I can't tell anything wrong with this thing, guys. I'm a little confused because I don't know if maybe the power supply is bad. Or maybe it doesn't have power, enough power to power this thing. So before rolling out, it's the board. I'm going to try to find another power source for this guy and see if I can power it up then. So I think the power supply is fine because what I did is I ran voltage through the meter. Or the amperage, should I say. And it actually jumped up to 2.0. 7 amps it shorts out so it, it gives it full amperage and then this thing gives out on it so there's definitely something shorted in the board here and I'm not sure exactly how to look for that kind of problem it's way too complicated so I don't think I'll be able to figure this out but I'm pretty sure it's the board here something happened to it so unfortunately this machine is not going to work at least at the moment what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to contact Flash Forge and see if they will send me another board because I'm not sure, and this is a pretty new board as you can see guys, it says Finder Plus version 2.02 .02. and there's a date on it so it's still pretty fresh board here. Or the other choice I have is maybe try to find another machine like this and hopefully that board is good but I don't think I want to put any more money into this thing. If I knew all I needed was the board and that would make it work, that would be fine. But in any case, I hope we can figure this out eventually and I'll keep you guys updated so stay tuned for that. So as you can see guys, you can get something cheap but it's, you know, going to have issues. Well, this one's having a lot more issues than anticipated. I thought we were only going to have this damage problem here and we can fix that pretty easily. But no, we have an actual electronic problem with it. 
and this is kind of weird to have a problem like this unless this is why the customer returned it in the first place and that's probably what's going on so you know all this is very risky but I kind of enjoy this process hopefully I won't have to spend too much money I can get this thing going and hopefully we'll have a working printer to review alright guys so stay tuned for an update video on this thing eventually once I figure something out I will update and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you're thinking about buying a printer that has issues or it's a pretty good deal like this one seemed to be at $90 obviously I had to pay some shipping too but it's still a really good deal seems like even if I had to spend another $50 to fix it but just know whenever you're buying a returned item there's a high chance of something being terribly wrong so in any case guys thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for more videos I got a lot more 3d printing stuff coming up and a lot of things to learn so hopefully you enjoyed this things if you did hit that like button if you want to see more things like this and you're not subscribed then hit that subscribe button and as always guys thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.